Hey everybody, this is Zach Rizet with Billbox. Thank you so much for joining me on the live stream today. Uh, this is actually episode four, and we're doing part three. Um, so I'm really, really glad to have you all here. And yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. So um, I didn't send any over. I didn't send over any assets uh, for today's lesson because uh, what actually happened was last time um, we didn't actually get to finish the whole lesson last time. So there's a couple assets left over from last uh, last week's uh, asset pack that we're going to use uh, right now. So if you don't have the assets, uh, let's go ahead and I'll show you real fast where it's at. Uh, so everybody can hear me, okay? Everybody can uh, see me, okay? And, and that's all. That's all looking good. Okay, perfect. Just making sure um, that I'm coming in clear. So. Um, in the live streams channel over here in the build box discord if you haven't checked it out already um, right here is the download link for the part two assets and we're actually going to do that right now in part three as well we're going to use some of those assets um, okay I'm going to go ahead and move that and turn off notifications okay perfect now um, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you just real quickly what we're going to cover in this lesson. Um, we're only going to probably be doing, the, uh, be doing like an hour or hour and a half today, maybe two hours. Uh, but I just want to give you a quick look at what we're working with. So um, first off, the last thing that we did was we covered checkpoints. Okay, and so let's go ahead and let's just... This is uh, this is the game folder game file that I I'm working on personally, and then I'll show you where we left off last week. So this was a checkpoint that I created uh, that we started creating um, in our game. We did reverse gravity here. Now what's happen uh, what's also happening right there is when we went through the reverse gravity, I have another item there that locks the door that we're about to come to. So I just wanted to give you a heads up that there's something happened there. So we reverse gravity. And so what I'm going to teach you today is we're going to use these little keys and we're going to use them to unlock doors. And then, um, and then if you, once you unlock the door, then you can get the checkpoint and, and continue on and move through the game. Now, the other thing that we're gonna show, I'm gonna show you in this video, is I'm gonna show you this cool button that I made. Uh, it's really a super, super basic button, but you can use it for any of your games. I figure, you know, uh, you know, lots of you know, lots of games. You'll you'll have an opportunity to use a button. So I figured this would be useful. Um, a real quick question from Zachary uh, Plante. Uh, I think I think that's how I pro uh, you pronounce it, um, or Zachary Plant maybe. Um, can I do a three D first person shooter, or is it not possible? Because I I uh, I cannot. I don't have the character. It sounds like. Um, uh, yes, there is. Um, uh, you can do a, th a 3D first-person shooter game. Um, I actually just played one of uh, the box, uh, a, a recent boxer, uh, Ben Scriven. Uh, he's going to be releasing a game here in the next couple months that is amazing and it's a it's a 3d first person shooter uh just like you would expect and you just walk around you shoot things you throw grenades you uh you know you get shields and all that stuff it's just just like you would expect and it's it, it's great it's awesome um i do think there was a uh, quite a bit of custom code that he used uh for um for his game but uh yeah it's it's totally possible um so quickly i'll show you uh the button real fast um so you just basically you just step on the you press on the button and the button's gonna Press down, it's going to turn green, and then a key is going to drop out of the cube right there. So I'll just drop, it's going to change color, the key drops out, now I can collect the key, I can open the door, I can collect the checkpoint, and I can move on with my game. And then I had started building out phase one, I made this little trampoline, ah, oh geez, I just, I just let myself get defeated. Here, let me restart here. So back to the checkpoint, and let's see here. So I got this little trampoline guy. Cool, jumps up, little explosion. I tried to make the game a lot like, oh shoot, there's a problem there. Uh, but I tried to make the game a lot like the original phases. So that's probably as far as we're gonna get today, everybody. We're gonna go over, um, we're gonna go over the opening doors and then we're gonna go over, um, we're gonna go over pushing the buttons and and unlocking doors in, in that way as well. And then I think we're gonna we'll probably call call it there. We'll do some Q and A at the end. Uh, but that's what's that's what's happening in this lesson. So uh, let's go back. Um, 
uh, let's go ahead and go back to uh, uh, the old game file that we had from last week, or uh, the week before, I should say. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, open recent. And the last one, let me see here. The last game file that we had was this one. Uh, April 23rd at 2.11 p.m. This is, I'm not going to save any changes here. So this is, I'm going to open up the game file. This is exactly where we left off from last week. Uh, and everybody should have uh, this game file, this BB doc. If you don't have the BB doc, um, along with the assets, I shared the BB doc at the end of the lesson. So um, right here, you've got the part two assets. Uh, this is a recording of the video. And then right here is the BB doc so that you can download right here. This is the BB doc that we're using right now. Um, you can download it from the Buildbox Discord so that you can follow along. Or you can just grab it afterwards, you know. Uh, hey, Hugh, uh, Tama, uh, Toma, DJ, uh, DJ Layton, uh, everybody, thanks so much for joining. I'm really glad to have you here. Um, this is gonna be a great lesson. So let's go ahead and let's, let's get underway. So this is what we had last time. I'll just go ahead and just run through it real fast. We had these little cubes firing off on the side, and then once we press the tap start button, the cubes go flying, and then we have some basic instructions for our game, and um, and then we we just yeah we wait for the instructions to go. Okay, perfect, and then the wall shakes and moves, so we're gonna we avoided uh, we learned to avoid enemies. Ah. Interesting. Oh, okay. You know why? It's because the scenes are randomized. Watch. Let's get rid of this. So let's do a couple things real fast and fix this up. So first, I'm going to go up here to edit, and then I'm going to click randomize scenes. Okay. So, or I'm sorry, uh, align scenes. <laughs> align scenes. Okay. So align scenes will make it so that they go in order. So now when we go through our game, the scenes are going to go one, two, three, four in progression. Okay, the next thing that I don't like right now about where we left off with our game last time is you see this little diamond here, uh, it's not, uh, or this gem, it's not angled the right way. So I just wanna fix that real fast. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna move this off to the side here. I'm just gonna select the cube. I'm gonna rotate it around and I'm gonna do something like this, I think. Let's see here. Yeah, something like that is better in my opinion. Let's do there, like that. That looks really cool. Okay, much, much cleaner uh, looking. Okay, perfect. I'll go ahead and save my game. Let's see here. This was created with an earlier version of, of, of BuildBox. Okay, let's cancel that. Let's make sure I'm on the right version of BuildBox. 3704. Oh yeah, I remember this. Uh, do you remember in the last live stream, um, we were in the middle of actually, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and, I'm uh, sorry, let's go ahead and save. Um, we were in the middle of the live stream last time and then the software updated like right towards the end I don't know if you remember uh, Remember that but so we actually um, Have a new ver newer version of the software with improvements uh, so that you can all try that out um, Okay, I got a couple quick questions uh, How do you optimize a game from uh, an Android game is really really slow? Uh, so one thing that you could try to do is uh, you know minimizing the shadows um, also, getting rid of objects that you don't need uh, objects, like unnecessary objects if you have too many objects in a scene. Sometimes making a scene a little bit smaller, uh, like shorter, like splitting uh, uh, one big scene into two or two smaller scenes. And then also uh, maybe getting rid of like stat, like physics collision shapes that don't need to be there. For instance, some people will put, you know, a static collision shape on an object that's purely a decoration and you just don't need it. So those are some ways that you can optimize for Android. Um, and oh yes, good one, uh, Swaggy B, optimize your Atlas as well. So that's a good one, that's a good idea. Um, to, uh, to do that, to optimize your Atlas, uh, I think we talked about this last week, but you wanna go to view, sorry, view, then atlases, okay? Then you wanna go to optimize and rebuild and check this out. I actually need to optimize myself, I believe. So let's check this out. So I'm gonna optimize and see what happens. You see how a bunch of the sprites just disappeared and they got rearranged? It says that only three of the sprites were optimized, but I actually think there was quite a, quite a bit more that were taken away there. But anyways, it's taking up way less space now. And so um, that's gonna make my game perform better, perform faster. So that's one thing for sure. Um, okay, cool. Um, Let's go ahead and move on.
let's move on with the lesson. So I'm going to optimize, and then you can also rebuild. I'm going to save again. OK. So this is where we left off last time. I'm going to go ahead and just play it again. Um, OK. Now the scenes are aligned, so we should be good. OK. Moving the wall, avoiding enemies, collecting gems. We did that. Sweet. That looks good. We did the reverse gravity last uh, two weeks ago. This is a cool effect. Smart Penguin helped me out with this one. I was having some problems with the collision shape on that one. Reaching checkpoints, we did this one. We didn't do an explosion yet. We, so like I like to make it so that there's like some sort of uh, um, you know change of color or something like that. Um, and yeah, we don't have any sounds. We don't have any sounds yet. But we'll, we'll. I think I'll add, start adding sounds in on the next lesson, not on this one. I don't. So because I'm not, I don't have the sounds prepared this time. But um, when you reach a checkpoint, a good, a good uh, example is you want a sound to happen, and then also I think it would be good to have some sort of explosion or some sort of color change or something to like signify that we actually hit the checkpoint. Because right now we went through the checkpoint and you can't even really tell that we did. You know, and so now I'll let myself be defeated because that's the end, that's my last scene. And then when I restart the game, I go back to my checkpoint, but I would, I like didn't really know that I even hit this checkpoint. So let's go ahead, let's let's do that real fast. Let's make it so that the uh, the checkpoint turns green um, when you when you hit it. So let's go uh, turn and there's an explosion and then it turns green. So I'm going to use, let's see here. Okay, so I want a little piece of debris. So I'm gonna go over here to my asset library and I'm gonna grab two little triangles. I'm going to grab it once and then grab it twice. And then this is going to be checkpoint debris one. And then the other one, I'm just copy and paste this. And the other one's going to be checkpoint debris two. Okay. Checkpoint debris two. Okay. Now let's go ahead and let's make sure they're dynamic for both of them. I'm going to change the physics type to dynamic. Um, okay. Now let's go in here. Let's change the coloring around a little bit. I'm going to go with, uh, let's see here. I'm going to go with two 3D models, I think. We're going to lower the opacity down so that it adds blending. So we'll lower the opacity down here. And so now we can add, what happens is when you lower the opacity to half, I'll show you this again. Um, watch as I raise the opacity to 100, how the blending option there, that blending attribute will disappear. So I'll go here, up to 100, it disappears. I lower it and it goes back down. Okay, what this means is, uh, so the blending option is only available when you have a, uh, like a lower opacity than 100. So let's go ahead and let's change the color. Something like a lighter blue. I like that. This one, let's do something like that too. Let's go ahead. They both look pretty good. I think I might raise the opacity up a little bit on these. Okay. Cool. Let's do additive, maybe. Yeah, on one. Okay, cool. That looks good. Do two-sided, and then we'll uh, scale it down a little bit too. So let's uh, let's do let's scale it down to 0.2. Yeah. Let's see here. 0.2. Same here with this one. 0.2 uh, and 0.2. Okay. Actually, let's not do that. Let's not do 0.2 and 0.2 on the uh, on the Z. Let's just do one. No, no, the Z, the Z is the one we want point two. The X is where we want one. Okay, sorry about that, everybody. And perfect, okay, cool. So now we just have these like little slivers that are going to um, be like thrown around. Okay, so let's go ahead, let's do one more. Uh, I like purple 
as a color. So let's go ahead and make this opacity, something like this. We'll do more of a, uh, like a purplish color. Cool. We'll make the scale be, oops. Um, we want to make the scale be 0.2 here. Then we'll make a copy, send this over here, make it a little bit slightly different color. Get additive there for one of them. Let's see, additive for two. I like the, the additive. Okay, cool. Um, this looks good. All right, awesome. Now I just need to go into my 3D world here. I just need to fix up the uh, collision shapes now. Or actually, you know what? I'll just del delete. Uh, I'll delete that there. Oops. Um, I'll hit Command Z. And when you hit Command Z. Okay, bring it back. Oops, I accidentally had deleted it from my menu and I just wanted to delete it from the scene. I didn't want to delete it from my menu. Um, let's go ahead and move this here. So you can actually just change the collision shape, I believe here as well in the scene by just changing the collision shape mode. But it looks actually like, it looks like the collision shape's pretty solid. Uh, yeah, it looks like when you, we lowered the 3D model, or we, we shrunk down the 3D model, we were actually able to shrink down the collision shape as well. Perfect. Okay, great. So we'll go ahead and just delete those. Oh boy. Oh shoot, yeah, that's right. There's a, uh, there's a crash uh, that happens when you delete objects when you're in collision shape mode. So that was my bad idea about that one. Uh, my fault, everybody. Let's go ahead and reopen BuildBox. Okay. Debris everywhere. <laughs> yeah, I always love, I always like, like, I, I love making um, debris and like having stuff flying around. Okay, let's see how far we made. Okay, so uh, that was uh, my <laughs> folly on me. Um, I did not save uh, when I made my debris, so I gotta do it again. But thankfully, I know what I'm doing and we'll make this go a lot faster. Okay. And we've got to remember, it's a good lesson. Check, uh, make sure you save. <laughs> Checkpoint debris one. We're going to do this again. All right. Copy. Ah, come on. Copy it. Make it dynamic. Okay. Two. Make it dynamic. Awesome. Let's go in here. Make this point two. Here, lower the opacity down, something like that. Make this one purple. We'll make a second one. Make it a little different color, slightly. Great, 0.2 on that one as well. Okay, cool, we're good there. Let's go back, change this one, 0.2. Lower the opacity down, make it a blue color. Let's do another one. Let's do a second one, make it a different, slightly different blue. Awesome, 0 0.2, 0 0.2, dynamic, okay, save. All right, awesome. Let's go to our checkpoint here, checkpoint one. Okay, we can see we got our checkpoint here. Let's make it so that not only uh, if we collide, we set a checkpoint, but uh, if we collide with the character, let's, uh, let's do a debris explosion. So let's go ahead and add in actions and make sure you save debris explosion. Okay. Debris explosion. All right. I got some questions real fast. I'm going to check out the chat real fast, everybody. Uh, what's up, Matt Williams, Swaggy B, Rodney Gulp, tutorial to output timer, please. Okay. I'll work on that. Uh, output timer. Okay, interesting. Uh, Rodney, explain that a little bit more on uh, to me, please. Uh, what do you mean by output timer? Um, Sproink, make flash UI checkpoint uh, like in uh, phases would be more cool. Flash UI checkpoint. Oh, okay. I think I know which one you're talking about, like the original phases. I'll have to go back and I'll double check on that. Um, like you're talking about like a flash 
just like a, a, a I believe it flashes on the whole screen. Uh, that was a BB. That was an old Bill Box Two effect, I believe. And uh, I'll have to see if we can add that back. That's actually that shouldn't be too too difficult. Um, what's up, uh, Bruno and Astrohound? Um, Al Cox, good to see you, man. Bot, Texter, Serge, Mohammed, Thies. Thank you, everybody, for joining. I'm really excited. Uh, Renato, uh, Serge again. Better posted in the monitor. Save, save, save. Yeah, everybody save like crazy. Um, and let's see here. Um, and then let's see here. Another question. Hey, I'm using touch rotate and touch move to move uh, around my character. I want to add a sound when rotating. Does anyone know how to do that? Um, yeah, so uh, real fast, uh, um, uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, Timmerman, right? Uh, Thies, I'm going to go ahead and just show you. So basically when you do the touch rotate, right? Let's see here. Touch rotate or touch move or whatever, uh, whatever you're wanting to do. Ah, interesting. Here's what I would do then, actually. I would throw up another UI button, okay? And let's see here, you're uh, talking about touch rotating the character. Um, yeah, I might throw a, throw a UI button in there somehow and then make it so that when it's pressed, you have a sound effect. And basically you could like layer a UI button over, um, over uh, maybe your character. I don't know, that would be a little bit tough because if you're moving your character side to side and you're rotating at the same time, it could it could be a little bit difficult to line that up, but there is a way to do it for sure. Uh, if in fact if actually if you want to send your BB doc in uh, to support uh, buildbox.com, we can definitely help you out. Um, okay, cool. I'll answer a couple more questions and let's keep going. Um, hello, when can you make a shooting enemy? Oh, shooting enemy is super easy to make. That one's. Um, that one's super easy. You just make an object and you spawn uh, enemy bullets, you know, and you just choose how fast you want to spawn. Um, okay, cool. And let's see, one more question. Let's keep going. Um, when are we usually doing live streams? Usually Thursdays and Fridays um, at the end of the week. Yeah. And uh, it'll be somewhere around like 9, 10, 11 a.m. PS, uh, Pacific Standard Time. Okay, guys, let's keep going. Okay, so uh, debris explosion, right? This is for the checkpoint. Let's go ahead and hook this up. Let's let's grab one of the checkpoints here. Cool. Uh, let's add in a second debris explosion. Awesome. Uh, let's choose a different one. Let's choose the purple one. So we got purple and ah, the blue is the thumbnail's not showing up there. Maybe it has something to do with me copying something over. Oh, I, you know what? I just don't think the, the thumbnail is there. It's just not showing up. Okay, that's fine. No big deal. All right. Uh, let's go ahead. And um, uh, yeah, no problem to uh, uh, Thies. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm th hopefully I'm pronouncing your name correctly or Timmerman. Um, yeah, just if you have any problems, just uh, send that in to me or reach out to me on Discord. Um, I should be able to help you out with that. I think I think we can make that work pretty pretty quickly. All right, debris explosion. That all looks good. I want more of a, a linear velocity on uh, a, like angular velocity at least on the um, on the y direction because I kind of I like it to go like poof pop like pop pop up. Um, so let's do that. Let's do go a little higher on the y's. So that it goes firing up and then let's save and then let's go back to our 3d world let's go to that scene here and let's see if we can um, check it cool reverse gravity is still working I love the reverse gravity thing that we made two weeks ago everybody I hope you I hope you you find something cool to do with that okay cool let's hit this yay hey you know what that's not bad I know that that looks like it was you know not the biggest fanfare, but it's it looks it looks cool, and I kind of like the way that it all just like lays out flat. But you know, have you noticed that there's not a lot of uh, there's no gr there's no purple. I don't see any purple. Uh, oh, you know why? Probably because they uh, maybe they landed in the same spot. Maybe they're on top of each other. I'm not sure. That seems that seems unlikely. Let's see here. So we got the blue ones to spawn. Okay, let's do. Let's go a little higher on these guys. 10 and 10 and 10 and 10. 
Okay, and let's not do the preserve momentum. I don't think that... I think what that does is it takes the momentum from the character. It pre preserves that momentum, and I don't... Or, or, or actually, no, I think it preserves the momentum of the checkpoint, which there wouldn't be any momentum, so I actually don't think it makes a difference. Uh, but let's go ahead and let's check that. Okay, cool. I'm also realizing something else that I want to fix. All right, come on, let's check this out. Let's see how this looks. And yeah, I like that. I like that. Cool. Um, let's also uh, let's also change the color. Um, so I'm gonna exit out of here. Let's go to checkpoint one. We've got these 3D models. Let's do. Uh, let's call this checkpoint or let's yeah checkpoint model one. Checkpoint model one. And let's call this one checkpoint model two. Checkpoint model two. Checkpoint model two. Come on. All right, here we go. Checkpoint model two. Awesome. Let's change the colors. So color change. I'm just gonna search for it since it's faster. Um, set color. Cool. Oh, you know what? This might actually set color to the whole thing. Let's just see. Let's see if we can. I don't know if. Uh, I don't know if we can change. Um, I don't know if we can change the color the way I want to, like this. We might have to do it a different way, which I have a backup plan. No problem. I just like. I I want it to look. I want it to have that like kind of like transparent or like a see-through look. So let's see here. All right, let's try it out. Color change is set up so that if I collide with it, it should change the color. I don't like that. That is a solid green. Maybe we could do a, uh, will it Will it let me do an opacity uh, difference on the green? Let's see that. Because if I can make it a, uh, like a, if I can make it a see-through green, then that actually would work for me. But I don't know if I can or not. Hey, that looks cool. But um, we didn't go hard enough on the green. It's actually too see-through. I went, I went a little bit too far there. So let's go a little bit more on the opacity, something like, you know, 78 or something like that. Do you have more, uh, do like a more slime green? Okay, yeah, see that's, I was looking, that's exactly, uh, Nick the Savage, that's exactly the color that I'm looking for. Like I want it like a slimy, like Nickelodeon slime green. That's the kind of color I'm looking for for the checkpoint. Let's see if I can, let's see if I nailed it. I, I think I'm getting pretty close. Um, yeah, I'm happy with that actually. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So color, uh, so explosion now, and it's green, and I think that looks a lot better. Okay, cool. So that's one thing that we did, guys, and now we'll start working on the keys. Okay, so sorry sorry, it's taking a little bit of time to ramp up into it. Uh, real quick question, then I'm going to uh, answer some questions. Um, uh, let's see here. Where are we? Um, Renato, better posted on the monitor. Safe, safe, safe. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, okay, I scrolled too high up. Okay, shop system, please. Uh, that's uh, Amin. Uh, just so you know, we are working on that. Uh, I've already. I, I'm working with one of the developers personally on because I, I like. I schemed up a way to create a little uh, character shop that works, but I think that it's a little bit too complicated for you guys. So we're going to make it really simple. So we're working on that. So, so that makes it like makes a, not only are we going to, you're going to be able to have a character shop and a coin shop, but it's going to be beautiful. It's going to be super simple. Um, uh, let's see here. Mukel uh, or Mukul, uh, haptic feature, uh, feedback when collide. Yeah, that would be sweet. Like little, Little sh a little vibration, right, or something like that would be sweet. Um, hey, everybody, live streaming is awesome. You should do it more often. Thank you, Andre. We're going to try to see if we can ramp these up and do more of these. Um, I also think we, we should be releasing more tutorials too, so we're going to be doing more of that as well. Um, hello, does anyone know how to make a shooting enemy? Uh, Golden Bots. Um, uh, yeah, just find me on Discord. You should be able to just find Zach or Zed. I'm one of the moderators. Um, you can also just ask on Discord. Uh, making an enemy that shoots is super, super easy. Um, you just, uh, I'll, I'll have to, I can sh I can show that later. If if, uh, if if you ask me again, once we get to the Q&A section later today, I will, I will show you how to do that. But right now I'm going to just kind of keep going with the lesson. Um, and then let's see here. 
Um, WS Box, bro, please come live every day. Nice. Yeah, bro. I'll try. <laughs> um, okay. Um, and then go higher on the deb and lower on the other. Okay. Oh, I think you're saying go higher on one deb. What's deb? Is that like, you mean opacity? Um, okay. All right, one, a couple more questions and then I'm gonna I'm gonna keep going back to it. Uh, nice, then can I update my game and make it cooler and customize the shop? Yes, yes. Um, I think a touch rotate was fixed in 3.2.1. Uh, That's, I, I believe there was an update to touch rotate, you're, you're correct. Uh, Bruno, what's your Discord name once more, please? Uh, let's just check it. It's, it should just be Zach Rosette. You guys should be able to see me at Zach Rosette. Yeah, so yeah, see right here, bottom, Zach Rosette, uh, one word. So all one word, no no space, um, Zach Grisette. And then, all right, last question, last question. Um, yeah. Wow, I'm trying to catch up to you guys' comments. It's uh, You guys got a lot. Um, Shaheem, you got a question. When I download BuildBox and PC, it says missing msvcp.dil. Okay, hey, uh, Shaheem, uh, uh, email support at buildbox.com will help you out with that. You should be able to download the free version for the PC, like no problem. It shouldn't have any issues. You might have to download like an open GL uh, little thing, but that doesn't take very long, it, not all, hardly at all. So yeah, you should be fine. So if you're having problems, just let us know, we'll help you out. Um, okay guys, I'm gonna get back to the lesson now. Um, we'll start doing some more Q&A a little later. Okay. So we need doors. All right, let's go ahead and let's let's make it so that there's there's some doors here. So I'm gonna add a fifth scene, okay? So I got a fifth scene, I'll, I'll make it, I'll label it five. I'm gonna go ahead and save again just because I can't remember the last time I saved. Okay, now uh, let's go ahead, let's get rid of um, the reach checkpoints part. Um, let me click it, reach checkpoints. We're gonna get rid of that. We're gonna go into the phases part two and we're gonna find uh, the unlocked doors, Avenar, uh, hyphen, um, Avenir next, uh, OBJ. Okay, we're gonna just drop it in as an object. All right, we're gonna make it about the same size as the other one. Okay, so let's go ahead, let's rotate it. Uh, also, really cool feature, guys. If you hold shift while you're rotating, it'll rotate at 45 degree uh, chunks, which is a feature that I asked for and uh, we got it and I, I happen to really like it. Okay, so um, yeah, it just makes it uh, a lot lot easier. Um, ooh, a little tricky though. There's a little bit of a bug I can see. Okay, so let's go ahead and just do this down manually. Okay, let's do 90. Perfect. Let's scale it up. Too big, way too big. And then let's make it smaller, a little thinner. Great. Now you'll notice, ah, okay. Uh, so I need to rotate it again. Perfect. Okay, cool. Looks good. I don't like the casting shadows part, um, personally. That's just my like weird thing. I do I know Al Al Cox said that he liked uh, he likes the shadows. I uh, remember last time. Uh, so t uh, to each his own, I guess. Uh, I, I you know what I, I like the shadows sometimes too, um, but for some reason I, I didn't like it here. Okay. So we're gonna call this unlock doors. Uh, we're gonna just start off by go, right, going to the asset library, go to assets, and then just grab a regular old, uh, regular old door key and just double click it or click add to library and then that'll add it. Then we're gonna just drop it in real fast. Come on, where are you? Raise it up, raise the roof, all right? Make sure that the position is set to zero so that it's centered so that when your character is going on, it'll actually for sure hit it. Um, okay, cool. So um, I'm going to send a, um, the, a, a signal right now to open door one. And I'm gonna call this uh, open, this is the event group open. So open door one um, and 
Yeah, and it's going to be the event group open. Now, if you don't get these right, if you don't get the group name right, it won't work. So you got to make sure that you remember it. Okay, now let's see here. It says when you collide with anything. Well, let's not do anything. Let's make it so that when it collides with a character that it's going to send the uh, open door. This is going to defeat, and there's going to be a little animation. Um, I can't remember if I liked the animation or not. Let's actually just check it out. So I'm going to go ahead and play it real fast. Oops, I forgot to turn uh, off the physics for the for the unlocked doors. And then that key is too tall. It's up too high, so let's lower it down. So we're going to lower this down. And then you are now going to be no physics type. Okay, great. Let's go ahead and press try this out again. Ah. Uh, Hmm, I kind of like it. Uh, there's a couple things though I would, I'd rather, uh, you know what? Actually, I, I don't like it as much as I thought I would. So let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of that animation. Let's get rid of, we can, we don't need to, let's get rid of the defeat node and let's change it to remove. Uh, remove is better in this situation, I believe. Um, and then, you know what might be cool, everybody? So check this out. Let's do this. Let's go to that gem animation that we had before. This this blue one or whatever. Yeah, yeah, this one, this one, right? That we we made we made blue. Let's go ahead and copy it. Go in here, hook it up, collide it. Oh, oh, okay. Defeat. Interesting. Maybe don't remove it right away. We'll need a, we'll need a second to actually play the animation. So it's going to have to be. Let's go ahead. Maybe actually, you know what? I take it back. I take it back. I think defeat actually would be the right uh, would be um, a good one to to use for this one instead instead of remove. Yeah, I, I take that back. This will this will be solid. So now let's change it to yellow instead. Kind of like a goldish yellow. And then let's take a look at that. Let's see how this looks. And I'm gonna save my game real fast. And here we go. Yeah, that looks better. And then I don't like the uh, the last, the I don't like that it, um, uh, I don't like that, I don't know if you can see it. It's really hard for you to see because it's it's very tiny. But there's just the littlest little bit of sliver, a sliver of like of that animation that remains that just hangs on and it gets stuck there. I don't know if you remember like the little circle that like the little platform that was there before, but it just gets stuck there and it just stays there. And it, I don't like that. It doesn't look good. So now we're, now we'll use the remove. We'll use the remove node at the end of the animation. Now this is actually going to be beautiful. So let's check this out. Let's hit it. Wow, actually that looks so sick. Okay, yeah, everybody, uh, like I'll, I'll definitely share this game file, but use that little, I think that's like a super cool animation. Also, um, you know what? Another thing I did with this one, I remember this. Um, let's use a scale animation. So it goes like this, so it scales, boop, right? It, it'll scale down into nothing and then it'll shoot like a little, uh, a little, light up i think that'll i think that'll look pretty sick so let's let's try that out so scale animation right scale animation and then we'll we'll target it down to zero the duration we'll do not maybe not the full second and then we'll do a linear uh, easing function and we'll scale it down here this might not work with the defeat node We'll, we'll find out, we'll find out. So we'll scale it down and then let's just see. I'm just curious. This this might not work I and mean, this might not be necessary so we might just move on to, some, to the next thing, but let's see. Yeah, the scale won't, the scale won't work uh, unless there's a uh, slight delay. So you know what, heck, let's do it, let's do it, let's do it, okay. So we'll do a slight delay on this. And it'll be like half a second, which is just enough time to let the scale animation play. All right, let's try it. Okay. All righty, here we go, here we go. And little scale. Oh, what? 
Where, what happened with the scale? Zero, zero, zero. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Is delta, yeah, yeah. 3D model, let's call this 3D model seven, just for funsies. Let's make sure that we're referencing it here. And you know what, let's also, let's do this. Instead of having the delay, we can just have the scale animation play and then, and then this happens, let's see. Okay, let's go back to our scene. Weird, that's weird, the, there is no, uh, there's no scale happening. Let's try, uh, let's try, let's try one. Let's try point one, point one, point one. Maybe make it point zero one, make it real small. Maybe it, maybe there needs to be an an, uh, uh, an actual number. Nope, no, that's weird. Yeah, it's just not working. Must be something. Uh, must be something I'm doing there. Hmm. Applied with character. 3D model. That looks good. Yeah, if it doesn't work right now, we're just gonna move on to the next thing, guys. We're gonna get this thing working. Hey, what the heck? That worked. Do you see that? What did I do? I uh, all I did was uh, get rid of the is delta. I just turned off is delta and that and that worked. Perfect. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead. Let's see it real fast one more time. Yeah, I like it, but the scale animation doesn't happen fast enough. It's it needs to scale down just a little bit faster. So let's let's do point two five, about half of that. All right. Now I know that that this is we've been spending a lot of time on this, but I promise you, like when you do these type of things, it, it like that extra polish is what makes your game like stand out. Yeah, that looks sick. Okay, a little scale animation there. Uh, I like it. And then I might lower the animation scale down a little bit here to just one and one on the on the key. And then finally, let's add a little bit of movement to this key as well. Um, let's just add some rotation, some real basic spinning, so that it looks it looks extra extra cool. Let's do uh, speed of fifty in the uh, rotation of the Y. And let's take a quick look at that. Let's save. And everybody, let's take a look. Um, okay. Yeah, here we go. Let's check it out. Come on. Hey, that looks clean. That looks really clean, guys. That's a good looking key. All right, key's rotating now. That looks beautiful. I might get rid of the shadow. Sorry, Al. And yeah that looks beautiful all right cool um and last but not least i am gonna i'm gonna i'll get rid of the shadow okay no casting shadows okay let's go ahead and save our game so we're going to uh have an extra um an extra checkpoint or sorry we're gonna have a red door that kills the enemy or that defeats the enemy um if you uh if you run into it so we're it's gonna be red so let's go ahead and just do that real fast so i'm going to uh go into my asset library go to my shapes i'm gonna grab another cylinder here cool so this is going to be my red door red door one or just, yeah, red door one. We'll have it be an enemy type. We'll have it be static. And then let's go into our 3D model here. Um, I do need it to be longer. So I need it to be longer than this. I believe when I spawn it, um, I don't think, I think when I, I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, have a little object that you hit that's gonna lock the door as you're progressing. And then, um, let's see here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll explain. I'll explain why I'm doing this uh, in a little bit. But basically, you need to have uh, like for the logic to be set up correctly as you're moving through the game. You need to lock the door before before you set up the door because if you spawn there let's say you like let's say you um you unlock the door right and then you collect the checkpoint 
and then immediately after collecting that checkpoint, you are defeated, right? And you get defeated by an enemy. So then you get spawned back at the, where the checkpoint was. But if you if you have a locked door there, then it's going to immediately defeat your character when you spawn back. So you have to have something that that actually triggers the door to to lock before it can't just be you can't just have like a permanent locked door ready to go there that you just turn off that you go back and then you go back to uh, that's uh, that's with this logic at least so let's go ahead and I'll, I'll, exp I'll explain this a little bit more so i'm going to go ahead and just do 10 i think for right now maybe 14 just to be safe okay we'll go ahead and do red color on this guy something like this lower the opacity I want to go lighter with it. Oh yeah. Huh. Not the color I'm looking for. There it is. That's better. Let's also make it. Hey, what's up, Spice Bean? Happy Friday to you guys. Happy Friday, everybody. Smart Penguins, good to see you. Um, love Smart Penguins. Nick the Savage is extra savage. And yeah, really great group here, guys. Thank you so much for joining me today. This is gonna be this is gonna be useful. Okay, so at this point here, this is checkpoint one. So let's go ahead and make another copy of checkpoint one. I'm gonna call this checkpoint two. Checkpoint two. Okay. And then I'm going to bring in checkpoint two. It'll be at the same spot, zero. And then maybe probably move it a little closer like this to where the original one was. I'll get rid of the old one. Grab this guy, move it up. Stretch it out. Scale it top and bottom. Okay. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. So we have this red door, right? We're gonna make it, so I'm gonna grab this other little object here. I'll grab a uh, cube, real thin cube. In this scene here, in this scene, we're going to have an invisible object that locks the next, that locks the next door, okay? So let's see here. So we have five and five, okay. Let's do this. Yeah, I think this is good, okay, cool. So let's grab the cube in here, and we're gonna call this one, we're gonna call this lock door one. Lock door one, no collision group, nothing like that. Uh, may, we might use, we might we might end up using a, uh, a collision ship on this one, we'll, we'll find out. Okay, let's go ahead and test this right now. Let's lift this up. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Make it nice and small in the scene. Real thin, almost like a plane. I think a plane, honestly guys, a plane would have worked just as well, maybe even even better. So um, yeah, just keep in mind you have you always have options with BuildBox. Okay, that looks good. Um, yeah, looks good. Now let's go ahead, let's go here into lock door one. And we'll say that when you collide uh, with an enemy, or when when the uh, when this uh, locked door one collides with the character, okay, we are going to do a couple things. First off, we're going to remove this object from being in the way. So we'll remove this, and then we'll also send a signal to lock door one. So lock door one, lock door one. Okay, and we'll make this the event group lock. Okay, uh, great. All right, so lock is the event group, lock door one. We're gonna remove the object, blah, blah, blah. Okay, great. Finally, last but not least, let's, uh, let's go ahead and um, disconnect the 3d model so that it's so that you don't see it in the scene anymore when you play the game and then real fast i'm going to just do a quick test here so that i'm going to log this is working is working um to the uh to the 
um, to the output just to just to see uh, um, just to make sure that the, the the signal is being sended because we're gonna see it's invisible so you can't really tell if the object's being removed or not you know it's it's kind of hard so it's, I, I like to ha have a signal to be able to send so let's go ahead and save again let's keep going come on scene here we go okay you see how the object here there's an invisible object you can't see let me go ahead and I'll show you again so, but but uh, so you see this guy uh, well, you can't see it because it's super thin, uh, or it's hard to see because it's thin. But basically, there is an object here, okay? And, and we're going to hit this, and we're going to check to make sure that the terminal is spitting out. This is working. So let's take a look. Let's go. We hit the checkpoint. Great. And cool. So this is working. This is great. And then I'm also just kind of curious... Yeah, no, that's going to be good. That'll be that'll be good. So this is working, and so that means we're sending the signal, and it's 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 locking the door. That's great. Um, I don't know what's going on with my character. Did you notice that there's a like square collision shape going on with that? What what's going on there? Main character. Which one of these is is a cube? This one. If collide with enemy is a cube. No, we're not doing that. We're going to fix that real fast. Sphere. Let's go here. Let's go to our collision shape. Ooh. Okay, shrink it down. Oops. Let's go to the one that has the enemy. Shrink that down. Yeah. And then turn off collision shape mode and save. And whatever you do, don't turn on collision shape mode and accidentally delete an object because we've been there before and Billbox does not like that. Okay, so here we go. Uh, we're going to lock the door. So when we lock the door, we're going to go to our checkpoint two. Okay. So when we lock the door and we get the checkpoint two, we're going to receive an action. So I'm just going to go up here to receive. Okay. This is part of the locking event group and we're going to lock door one. Okay. And when we lock door one, all we're going to do is we're going to spawn this little, our little, uh, come on, where are you? Spawn, thank you. Um, we're gonna just spawn our little, our, our red door. Right where the checkpoint is, is we're gonna spawn the, the, the red door. And let's take a look and let's make sure that this is gonna work. So, spawn the red door. Not crazy about the color yet. We might, we might tweak that a little bit. Um, Okay, let's go ahead and save. So everybody, at this point, uh, when we hit that object, we should uh, this should lock the door, and then when we go to the next scene, we should see red. Let's let's hope let's hope we do. Okay, so here we go. Got our checkpoint turned green. We hit our little lock the door button. It's working. We're going, and let's see what happens. Hey! I love it. It's red. It's not the color I like, but heck, whatever. It's at least we got something there. And then now we got to make it so that when the you hit that key, the red door is just going to go whoosh, it just explode. And then there's going to be more de more debris there as well. So, um okay, cool. Let's do it. So, uh things are looking good. Uh I'm not crazy about my red door though. Let's go let's exit out of here. Why is my red door look so bad? Oh. Oh, I know why. It's because you've got um the checkpoint um you've got the checkpoint uh uh underneath, I believe, and it's adding it to it and it's creating a more solid color because it's now like layering a bunch of 3D models over each other that have you know, uh, different opacities. And so um, this is another thing that we're gonna do. Okay, so check this out. So checkpoint two, right? Originally, you want this to actually be uh, set to, uh, you want this, you want it so that when it locks the door, the blue checkpoint is invisible, okay? And then once you unlock the door, you want the check, the blue checkpoint to be visible. So we're going to, change it to set visibility where is it set visible 
Uh, we're going to change this to uh, set visibility, I'm pretty sure. I asked them to. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and uh, change, let's set it so that when I lock the door, this is now invisible. Then let's go ahead and do another set visible here. Let's do another receive. Let's do receive. And then what was it called for receive? Uh, when we send it, it is open and open door one. Okay, great. So we're going to go to open and open door one. Perfect. Okay. So what this does, opens door one, it's going to set this one vi to be vis visible. And you just got to make sure that you have visible turned on. You have to um, you have to make sure that the visibility is actually toggled, or else it's not going to become visible. And then let's see just right now. Let's just run a test to make sure that the the turning the visibility on and off is working. And then and then we'll actually have the door unlock. Okay. So let's go back to our three D world. Let's go back to this guy. Ah. Oh wait. Hello. You're uh, you're just a bad you have a bad opacity to begin with. That has nothing to do with the. Uh... Oh shoot, shucks! Why are you acting like that? Okay, so let's go here. Let's go to our red door. Huh. Interesting. Fourteen, 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 fourteen. Let's lower the opacity down. Some. Same here. Let's lower the opacity down. And then I don't know, I'm not sure what will what's gonna come out of, from this, but I'm hoping we get a little bit different results here. Yeah, I like that better, actually. Uh, the additive part, not as much, but uh, yeah, I, I like that. Let's maybe do alpha pre-multiplied and let's take a look at how that looks. Ah, so the pre-multiplied is actually making it, uh, so the lowering the transparency actually, or sorry, the, the opacity did help. I think if we continue to lower the opacity, it might actually really work. Let's take a look. Yeah, yeah, watch this. Yeah, it's still a little bit uh, too, uh, it's like saturated, like this red, red color. Uh, I'm gonna ch just make some last final tweaks here, guys, and then we're gonna we're gonna move on. So I'm gonna do kind of a different color here, red, yeah, lighter, cool. Let's do additive. Yep. Alrighty. That's it. Okay. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and save. I'm gonna delete this. I'm gonna go back to this, uh, go to the scene again. All right, let's make sure that this is lo that the visibility is looking good. Okay. Hey, that looks good. You see how it's 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 actually perfect. Okay, now what we'll do is we'll make it so that when we hit the key. Okay, you see the set of vis the, the the visibility changed on the. There's actually a checkpoint underneath there that's now blending with it. Um, uh, Oh, it looks saturated because of the blue background. Hey, uh, Krishna, that's actually probably a good uh, good point. Um, okay, so we saw the visibility change. So what we need to do now is we need to destroy the red door. Because uh, I think right now, if, even if you hit the red door, it's still going to defeat the character. Yeah, so we're, we're, we're not happy yet. Okay, so let's exit out of there. Okay, so um, let's go to our red door. Once we get the the un, like the uh, open door one right, so let's do receive. Let's get the open event group open, and then open door one, and then let's go ahead and do a debris explosion and a remove. So let's do maybe defeat. Let's do a debris explosion. Explosion. I might be using a remove and a delay in here as well. Let's we'll, we'll find out. Okay, so we got this open door one. Great. Um, 
Let's go ahead and let's do a debris explosion. Let's remove it. Um, let's maybe do a slight delay here. Well, you know what, actually, let's just try to remove it and see if the debris actually shows. The only reason I'm having, I'm hesitant about using the remove node is I think that if I use the remove node and I try to do a debris explosion, no, we're not gonna actually see the debris. So, um, uh, okay, cool. So let's see here. Um, all right, good, debris explosion, but we don't have any debris. All right, let's get let's get some debris. All right, so I'm gonna go over here to asset library. I'm gonna do the same thing as before, guys. I'm gonna do another triangle, and this is going to be, let's see here, that was checkpoint debris one, checkpoint debris two. I need to relabel that. Checkpoint debris two, save. This one is going to be um, red door debris one. Red door debris one, same as last time, make it dynamic. No no collision group, it's fine. Okay, red door dynamic, let's get some, let's get this a little thinner. Point 0.2, let's go a little lower on the opacity. Go red, kind of a pinkish color is fine. Okay, that looks good. Again, same here, a little additive, maybe a little even more of a red. Saturated, bring it up just a tiny bit. Okay, cool, maybe you can go additive with it, great. All right, now let's go here to our red door. And then once we do the defeat, we want to spawn that red door debris. Okay, so we'll choose the red door debris, we'll save. Everybody save. Okay, let's go ahead and try this again now. So we gotta lock the door first. We gotta go through the game, lock the door. Cool, door's locked, let's unlock it. Here we go, ready? Okay, so we, we're un we unlocked the door, that worked. The debris was super weak, that was super weak and we need to uh, make that way better. Okay, but we got the checkpoint working as well. And then once we are defeated and we go back to our checkpoint, we, we there's no red door anymore. You know what I mean? The, the red door would only be there if we had locked it before, which we didn't. See, that's why you have to lock, that's why you have to lock the red door before you, uh, uh, like, as you're going, because you can't just have the red door sitting there waiting to be unlocked. Because when you go back to, from the checkpoint, you're gonna spawn on a red door and you're just gonna be straight up defeated. So. Here we go. Okay, let's so let's fix the let's fix the debris. That's my bad. We should probably should have done a little bit better on the debris. So we'll do debris. We'll go fifteen here. Let's go seven seven. You go seven here. Let's go fifteen there. Seven there. Let's get rid of the preserved momentum. Save the game. Okay, let's check it out, guys. Sweet, here we go, lock the door. I'm gonna move the lock the door onto the checkpoint, I think, too. Awesome, unlock the door. What the heck? That's weak, that's so weak. It just fl it just flops there. It just, uh, huh. Yeah. Huh. Interesting, why does it just fall and not go firing off? They're set to dynamic. That's good. We're all good there. The collision shape's fine. Debris explosion's fine. Inherent color. Preserve momentum's off. Cool. Hmm. Maybe what I'll do is I'll maybe I'll force a jump to happen. I'll, uh, if you guys don't want to move, I'll make you move. All right, jump. Let's just see what happens with a. Uh, yeah. Let's just see what happens with a uh, um, with a jump force of twenty. Sweet, okay, cool, come on, here we go. Get the checkpoint, lock the door, avoid the enemies. Here we go, here we go. Better debris explosion. All right. I mean, it's, it's a, they, they all, they all moved. Uh, they all, they all jumped straight up. So uh, that part's a little uh, goofy. 
but maybe we can get them like some sort of randomization or something like that. Let's see here, move node doesn't have the randomization. Um, you know what we need to do is we need to add a, a randomization to the jump node is really what it, we need to do. We need to have the jump force, we need to have movement just like, where we need to have jump just like move, just like this X, Y, and Z, and then have the randomization uh, right there. Cause that would, I mean, that would be nice. Okay, uh, for right now, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just, let's see, wave, speed, nope, rotation, velocity, drag, circular move, nope, none of these are really gonna give me the, mo the movement that I want. Even position animations, no, they're all, they're all too specific. I want, I want randomization. I could use a random node, like, <laughs> you know what I could do? I got an idea, I got an idea, watch this. I got an idea, all right. I'll use random five. This is hilarious. I'll use random five and we'll do five different jump nodes and they'll all go jumping in different directions. And, uh, uh, oh, sorry, um, always AKA Aiden, uh, we're not doing, uh, we're, we're, this isn't the free version, unfortunately. Uh, the way I designed this game was for uh, you to have 3D worlds for each one of the like regular UIs, like normally you would just have like regular UI screens, um, like a main menu UI, a game over UI, an info UI, a pause UI, and so on. Um, but I, the way I designed it uh, is I designed it so that your 3D like your main world, your main menu has like 3D objects moving around. And it's got like a 3D feel to it. So that's why, uh, yeah, that's why I'm not, I'm not using the free version this time. So you have to use the pro version if you want to make it just like this. Um, okay, cool. So I'm going to fix up the red door debris uh, real fast. Let's call this jump one. We'll do five here. Hook this one up. Jump two. Make this five here. Jump three. We'll go negative five. And then we'll do another one. We'll do two negative fives. Do another one and make it so that this one is just regular five. Cool. All righty. This, in theory, could work. Let's let's see. And you know what? Real fast, the thing I, I like to do is I like to make it so that when you hit the checkpoint, you're also locking the next door. So I'm just going to throw that in there, just like that. Cool. Okay. Let's go ahead and hit save everybody. Let's press play. Cool, checkpoint, lock on the door. Oh boy, I barely made it, okay. Um, all right, here we go, unlocking the door. Yeah, that looks sick. Okay, cool. I mean, they all jumped together. It might wanna, I might wanna stagger the height a little bit. Uh, but that was cool. That was actually like the effect that I, I, I want. And then you get your checkpoint and then you're good to go. And then when you come back, you just come back. Okay, cool, everybody. So uh, last thing that we're gonna do today before we open it up to Q&A is now I'm gonna show you how to do the push button thing. And to be honest with you, the push button thing is not gonna take very long. Uh, I'll explain it a little bit, but I mostly just have the asset exported for you guys already because I, I wanted to make it easy on you guys. Uh, thanks, Renato. Um, so let's see here. <laughs> I need to see Zach make more games, publish it on App Stores, get millions of downloads, and start another company. Yeah, <laughs> we'll see. We'll see if that happens. Uh, I think. Uh, I think right now I'm gonna just keep trying to help you guys, and I, I'm he I'm here for you. I want to uh, make it so that you guys make all the money. Okay, you guys make hit games. I I I'm doing already. I I'm already doing what I love. I love teaching you guys. So this is this is fun. Um, all right, let's let's uh, let's throw in that but that button uh, that I was talking about. So. Um, let's go to the five here, the fifth scene. Um, let's let's go ahead and uh, hit a D on our keyboard and then duplicate it. So we'll go to scene six. And then uh, we're going to get rid of the unlock doors part. Okay, unlock doors. Let's go to our phases uh, part two assets here. And what we'll do is we'll uh, bring in 
find keys, and also push buttons. Okay. All right. We're not done with the asset pack yet, but for right now, we're just gonna do this, okay? So let's go ahead and do, I think, is it 90 and 90? Yeah, 90 and 90. Let's crank it up, let's crank up the, uh, let's crank up the scale and then lower the scale a little bit on the blue, on the, on the, the Z side of things. Okay, let's do 90 and 90 rotation, 90, 90. Sweet, scale, a little too big, I went a little crazy. Scale it down. Awesome, okay, cool. Push buttons. Find keys, looking good. Uh, we've got to make sure that we turn off the dynamic uh, aspect of these things because they always uh, start off as dynamic when you drop them in. All right, so they're going to hit gravity. I'm going to go ahead and save. Uh, I wish I could turn off the cast shadow and the receive shadow. You, you, okay, you know what? You guys want to keep the shadows? We're keeping the shadows. All right. You know what? Uh, Renato, you convinced me. And uh, Al... Uh, Al Cox, uh, you're you're right. You're right. We should have kept the shadows. I, I I'm I'm a big enough man to admit when I was <laughs> I was wrong. <laughs> hey, thanks, Astrohound. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I do think some randomization out on the on the jump node would be kind of useful at times. You know, uh, I wouldn't have to use that randomization node, for example, right? If uh, if if that were the case, I could have skipped a node. Um, but hey, whatever. It's all good. So okay, asset library. I'm gonna bring out just like a random cube. Uh, this one is just decorative, uh, really, because I'm going to hide a key inside of it. So let's do, let's make sure it's zero. Okay. And then, uh, now this key, uh, this key actually unlocks um, door one. So we need another key uh, to unlock door two. Um, and we're going to need another, we're going to need multiple doors, unfortunately, just because, um, uh, just just because like that's how it works. Like they, it, uh, you can't you can't have them like. It, it would be hard to have them make it so that it, un it unlocks uh, multiple doors in different situations. Uh, maybe I could figure out a better way, a more elegant way, a, a condensed way to do it. But um, for right now, uh, we're gonna have multiple doors, multiple checkpoints, and multiple keys. So. Um, okay, so I'm gonna go over here. So I'm gonna call this door key one. And um, yeah, yeah, no problem, uh, Aiden, for sure. Uh, I, we, we got you, we're, we're always here to help. Um, okay, we're gonna do door key two, right? And this time I'm gonna go into door key two. I'll bring out door key two instead. You know what, actually Door Key Studios would be like a great name for a game development studio. Like do, like Door Key, but it sounds like dorky, like a ner like nerdy. Uh, anyways, just just thought about that. Was, that's really stupid, but I just thought of that. That could be kind of cool. Um, okay, let's get rid of Door Key 1. We need Door Key 2. Uh, door Key 2, um, this one, when it sends uh, a signal, it's going to unlock door two now instead of door one. So we're gonna, when it sends a signal, we gotta change it so that it, the event name is unlock door two. Okay, and then um, also, I also want to, um, I want to add in a receive node here. We're getting a little, I'm getting a little bit of ahead of myself, but I'll show you why later. So this one is, uh, we'll call this um, uh, drop key. Yeah, we'll call this event name drop keys. Yeah, group is drop keys, and then we'll call this drop key two. Okay, perfect. Drop key two. And then when that happens, I want to do a cool scale, uh, sorry, position animation. Position animation. Cool, position animation, awesome. And what we'll do is we'll have it go down. We'll go have it go boom, drop, negative two. And it's gonna be sick because 
uh, or negative two, it's gonna be sweet because um, we'll do it like 0.5 or maybe 0.7. Um, it's gonna be awesome because we'll do the uh, the bounce. So it's gonna like drop and go boom, 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 boom. It's gonna look cool. So let's do out bounce uh, for the easing function. And then I think we're good to go. Uh, 3D model, let's just do 3D model seven because I accidentally already changed the name. So we might as well make sure that we're referencing the right model. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and save. Okay. Now, uh, we need to add those buttons, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and just add in the buttons. Uh, we also need to do door two and, uh, we have to have door two and another uh, like checkpoint three, I think is really, is what it is. So we'll go to now um, part two, phases part two assets. Let's, uh, for this one, um, guys, uh, for this, uh, I, I eventually want to make it a smart asset, but for this asset to work the way I designed it, you actually need two, uh, two BB assets to work, make it work. So first we'll go ahead and just drop in a red button and then we're going to drop in a green button. Okay. And here, and then I'm going to exit out of here. Okay. So let's bring the red button out into the scene. Okay. So you guys can just, you know, place it wherever you want. Uh, I, you definitely want it to be, you know, in the centered in the zero and just place it below push buttons. Probably want to do the same thing with find keys here. Kind of want to center that. Cool. Okay. So basically guys, this are, there's already a lot of logic built into this one. Um, are we going to release this on the app store? Um, I don't think so. I actually have an idea that I want to run by uh, Ketchup and uh, the rest of the team thinking we might actually do some sort of competition where we release this game with Ketchup uh, and maybe uh, maybe have a competition to see who can build who can like build it out the best or something. Like I don't know. We're, it's it's an idea. We're playing around with it. I was I was uh, mostly just sh using this uh, as an ex as like tutorials examples. I was th I thought this could be a, a, a useful template for you guys, like a cool gameplay style. And then I also thought it was like useful because I could um, like show you a lot of like tricks and stuff uh, with this, uh, with this, um, gameplay style. So that's, that's why, I, that's why I chose this one. I don't think, uh, <laughs> I look like Mr. Robot with glasses. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Let's check this out. So, uh, red button here. So basically this is how it works guys. So the character is going to hit the red button and there's going to be a position animation on, on the red button. So the red button is going to go like it's going to look like it's pressed down. Right. And, uh, and, uh, so, uh, it's going to be pressed down and then the gray button, just like the gray, like holder part of the button just stays there. It just it stays stationary. So that what this does is it presses it down. It sends a signal to drop key. Okay. So I need to fix this actually. So, so, uh, we're going to call this, what is it? What is it again? Drop keys. Okay. Drop keys. So I got to switch the event group to be drop keys. And then this is drop key two. Pretty sure. Yeah. Drop key two. Okay, cool. So now it's going to work. So now this is going to, so it's going to press the button. It's going to send the signal to drop the key. So that's going to fire off and it's going to do the little bounce. And it's going to do a color animation as well. It's going to do a color animation. So it turns green and it's going to turn the exact same color green of the other green button. And then it's going to spawn another green, uh, the squawn or a, uh, spawn like an exact replacement green button. So that, um, so that when you like the, when your character keeps hitting it, it doesn't just keep pushing the button down and pushing the button down and pushing the button down uh, uh, like, uh, 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 and sending more signals and doing all this stuff. Basically you, once the character bounces and goes up, you need it to just be like a dead button that doesn't do anything anymore. It's just, you know, by itself. So we have, that's why I have the extra green button asset and you don't even need this color animation thing. You just need the, you just need the asset. Okay. So let's go ahead and let's just check to make sure that this is working right now. Let's save and check to make sure this is working. And then we'll do the red doors and the checkpoints and all that stuff. Um, uh, hold on. Uh, Wolf, um, I think you should have none instead of zero, uh, for what, for which, uh, I, I, I think there's a little bit of like a 10 second lag time on the video, uh, from when I'm talking with you guys, but anyways, let's check this. Let, uh, let me know what you're talking about, Wolf. 
Yeah, I love I love making levels. That's like the funnest part. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's press on the button. Awesome. Okay, cool. So it 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 seemed to it seemed to work right there. Uh, you saw the key drop. Let's try it one more time. I'm gonna actually lift the key up now inside the cube so that we can't see it. All right, let's double check this. Okay, it dropped the key, but the key needs to drop lower. So let's go to the drop key. Let's go to the position animation. Let's make it negative four. Let's, yeah, let's do, yeah, 0.8 on the, let's make it a little longer. So negative four, so it's gonna drop. And then did you notice that the green button doesn't look super clean? Um, like there's a just a like it, it looked didn't look terrible but there was a little bit off what happens exactly so the red part goes down and then the green part is up the uh the the okay okay i know what ha is happening so the gray part needs to go uh down just a little bit let's see here okay okay so that part looks good let's see something real fast on the green button versus red button, the gray part. Let's see here. Negative position is negative 0.6. Ah, gray button. Let's do negative 0.6 here. Let's see. Ah, I take it back. I take it back. Um, okay. So if it's going down, the position animation is going down. Ah, okay, okay. So 0.2. And then, let's see here. No, 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 no. It should be the same. It should be negative 0.85 over here too. I think that's what's what's happening, guys. Let's let's try it out. Um, yeah. Let's try it one more time. It's so weird. I didn't notice this before. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That actually is it. And it's spawning it though. It's spawning it just a little bit to, I think it's, uh, that's the thing is there's a spawn offset here that it's not, it's not working very well. So it needs, I need to spawn it so that it goes a little bit lower. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just a little bit lower. So, or hold on one second, one more time, one more time. I th actually think I can fix this with uh, out using the spawn offset. I think I can do this with, huh. Okay. You know what? Uh, one more time. One more time. And then this is the last time I'm checking it, and we're going to move on. Okay. Yeah. It is just a little bit too high. Let's do negative 9.5. I think that could work. We're going to try this, and this is the last time. Uh, it's pretty close. It's pretty close. You you'll have to uh, you'll have to kind of finagle with it a little bit. Um, so uh, yeah, you'll have to finagle with it a little bit. But it's it's just slightly slightly off. Okay, it's not it's nothing major. I know that with a couple more tweaks that I could get it. But uh, yeah. Okay. So um, oh, how do you I make an enemy? Follow player. Uh, actually, um, uh, Wolf. So uh, real fast. I'll answer that question for you. I'm gonna go ahead and exit out of preview and save real fast. But so Wolf, I think the best way to do that actually, it could be, um, I saw Josh Higgins do a pretty cool, yeah, finagle. <laughs> um, uh, I, I saw Josh Higgins do a pretty cool uh, thing with the gravity node. So like here's our main character, right? And you use this, um, use, where are you? Gravity, okay? Use this gravity node. And what that does is that will like pull objects in towards you. That'll that'll pull, pull certain objects in uh, uh, towards you at like gra gravitational pull, I believe. And you and that is dependent on your like you. I think you change like the mass uh, and 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 stuff. And then um, yeah, you change the mass and that changes the gravity. Uh, there is another way. Uh, there are other ways to do it as well. Um, and I'm thinking, uh, I'm trying to think of a good example right now. I know there's like there's this really great switch game that with our, where car game where you switch lanes and Nick made it where you uh, 
have the car the, the cars like chase after the character it's really cool you know what i'm gonna just write that down and i'm gonna i'm gonna make that something that i teach later okay because that's a good question like getting the enemies to follow uh, follow the player or follow the character so um, i'm gonna just give me a second guys i'm gonna make a quick note um here in my in my notes real fast and make sure i get that down okay okay Following the uh, getting enemies to follow the character. Okay, cool guys. Okay, we're almost done. Perfect. Um, and then uh, I saw Renato. You said uh, put the key falling to a spike floor. Player has to arrive before the key is destroyed. Ooh, I like that idea. That's cool. The, yeah, so you could make it so that like the key is like slowly slowly like moving down or something like that you could even have it like held onto a chain and like something it's like falling i don't know anyways great idea i love that i love that i um that idea um okay I'm, right now i'm gonna go ahead and focus guys on making the second door and then the second checkpoint and then and just like showing you how i hook that all up and then uh and then we're good to go and then we'll, we'll do a couple minutes of q a and we'll call it a day so um let's go ahead um so this one we've already got right we've already got the like you know a, a lot of good stuff happening here um let's go ahead and let's make a checkpoint three here so checkpoint three so i'm just gonna hit d on my keyboard and i got checkpoint three okay i'll bring checkpoint three out here into my scene just got to make sure it's the most important thing is it's got to be centered it's got to be zero in the x direction. Roughly put it around the same position as the other one, and I'm going to delete the old one. Okay, cool. Let's lift this up. Let's stretch it out. Cool. Awesome. All right. Now this one, uh, we're going to, let's see here, door key two. So door key two is now going to send a signal to open door two. So we're going to go to checkpoint three, and this one is instead of open door one, this is now changing it to open door two, okay? So now this is what's going to uh, set the visible, and uh, like change it from turning visible and not visible, okay? This one, we're gonna call this lock door two, okay? And we're going to have to create another, uh, another, um, like another locking door item object thing okay lock door let's go here let's go ahead and make that object uh, that locking door object real fast so this was locked or actually i'll just actually delete this one i'll go here to lock door one i'll hit d on my keyboard and i'll call this lock door two sweet hold on i'm <clears throat> i must have uh named the wrong one so this is lock door one and then the copy is lock door two. Thank you very much. Okay, lock door two. And then we're going to change this so that it's lock door two. All right, then to lock, to make sure we get to lock door two, we're going to put lock door two here at the checkpoint in the scene before. Okay. <clears throat> make it nice and tall and thin, lift it up. Yeah, lift it up, something like that. That looks good. Make it nice and wide. All right, cool. And we already know that it's not uh, that it's not hooked up uh, to a three D model, so it's not going to be visible. Okay, let's save. Okay, now last one. Uh, red door. We need a red door too. Let's do red door two. Sweet. Okay, red door two. Uh, this one though, the receive is going to be open door two. That's all, and I think we're good. I think we just got to put. Uh... Oh wait, no. You know what I just remembered? We have to spawn red door two as well. Got to spawn red door two. So over here, where'd you go? Where'd you go? Spawn red door two. Spawn red door two. There we go. 
Okay, let's cross our fingers. Let's save our game. And uh, you know what, actually, everybody? I'm going to go ahead and save a backup file real fast because I always, uh, it's a good idea to always save backup files. So let's just do that real fast. So I'm going to do file, save as. Always a good idea to do backups. So I'll save this one because I haven't done uh, any backups this entire session. I've just been saving. But it's, it's, it's good to save, but also do backups. Um, okay, cool. So let's go ahead and let's run through this, huh? So uh, I'll show you real fast why you have to like uh, go a scene back. So right here we have the red door, but there's no red door to be seen, you know? So uh, there we have the key. But um, okay, cool. Let's go ahead. So let's push the button. First off, we have the red door, okay? So that's, that's looking good. So we've got this last scene looking good. All right, press the button, turns green. That actually looked really good. Ah, collect the key. Hitting the key did not work. Okay, okay. So here's something, uh, a, a really cool thing I wanna teach you all, okay? So this is important. So let's go ahead with um, this uh, exit out of preview. Now, the reason why we didn't collide with that door key is because there's no collision shape there, all right? And, and why is there no collision shape? Because, uh, right, because we did a position animation, we sent the key down, why aren't we colliding with it, right? Okay, well, here's why. I'm gonna teach you something that's very important to understand about the position animation node, okay? So remember this, all right? So I'm gonna to go to uh, position animation node. What did I, What is something that's kind of unique here that I'm doing in my position animation node? I'm referencing the model name, okay? So when you do that, it's it only moves the model. It does not move the collision shape. So we have to get rid of it. We have to e 